whether you call it a low-riding SUV or a tall hatchback car, the diminutive 2023 Hyundai Kona is a practical and fun-to-drive vehicle, which makes it one of our faves. The entry-level engine is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder that makes only 147 horsepower, but the optional turbocharged mill dials in some spiciness that better matches the Kona's nimble handling. Like other Hyundai models, the Kona comes packed with a generous list of standard features, including driver assistance and infotainment technologies, at a reasonable price. More than reasonable, actually. The Kona may not have as much passenger or cargo space as some of its larger rivals, but when it comes to driving satisfaction it's a bundle of spunky, funky fun, no matter whether you think it's a car or an SUV. The Kona gains more standard driver assistance features for 2023, including blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, and Hyundai's safe exit warning system, which watches for approaching cars or bicycles to warn the driver and passengers upon exiting the vehicle. The N-Line model's optional tech package has been eliminated and its contents have been made either standard or are no longer available on that trim. For example, the N-Line now gets a sunroof and the larger 10.3-inch infotainment is standard but the Harman slash Kardon stereo and the adaptive cruise control are now exclusive to the top-spec limited trim. If it were our money, we'd spring for the nearly loaded limited model, as it offers nearly all of the most sought-after equipment without being too expensive. Standard equipment includes a sunroof, automatic climate control, fog lamps, leather upholstery, and a power-adjustable driver's seat. Going with the Limited also gives us the spunky turbocharged four-cylinder engine that's shared with the N-Line trim. Two powertrains are available with the Kona, SC and Cell models come with a 147-horsepower four-cylinder and a six-speed automatic transmission. This setup could use a big cup of caffeine. In our testing, an all-wheel drive Cell model required 9.2 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Limited and N-Line models are powered by the considerably peppier 195-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder paired with a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic that did the 60mph dash in 7.3 seconds in our testing. The seven-speed dual-clutch automatic shifts quickly and smoothly once you're rolling, but it stumbles at low speed in parking lots and bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, engaging and disengaging first gear hesitantly until the driver offers more throttle input. The Kona delivers agile handling and a surprising amount of fun. This doesn't translate to a rough ride over choppy roads, in fact, the suspension offers quite the opposite, damping out bumps and providing occupants with a cabin that is well isolated from pavement imperfections. The steering is perhaps the Kona's biggest dynamic downfall, it's an uncommunicative helm that, despite its heavy-weighted feel, requires frequent corrections when cruising the highway. In this class of fuel-sipping mini-SUVs, the Kona's EPA ratings are good but only average among its rivals. Despite this, the Kona impressed us during our real-world testing, besting much of its competition. The most efficient version is the base model with front-wheel drive, which is rated for 30 miles per gallon city and 35 miles per gallon highway. The turbocharged model is rated for up to 29 miles per gallon city and 35 miles per gallon highway with front-wheel drive, add all-wheel drive and those numbers are reduced to 27 miles per gallon city and 32 miles per gallon highway. In our testing, the turbo all-wheel drive model did deliver 32 miles per gallon in our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test. We also managed 33 miles per gallon with the base four-cylinder. Hyundai's designers managed the tough task of bringing the charm of the Kona's exterior design to the cabin while maintaining comfort and convenience. Quality materials, good ergonomics, and comfortable seats feel grown up and refined but not out of step with the Kona's funkadelic outward appearance. The steering wheel is wrapped with nicely grained leather with contrast stitching and offers integrated controls for cruise control and audio settings. Those upgrading from a compact hatchback or sedan will find the Kona's cargo space perfectly suitable, but buyers downsizing from a larger SUV will most likely feel the pinch. Standing atop the Kona's dashboard is a touchscreen infotainment system flanked by simple shortcut buttons that allow you to easily switch between common menus. We found the system to be intuitive in its operation but leisurely when responding to inputs. An 8.0-inch touchscreen is standard, but buyers wanting a larger display can upgrade to a 10.3-inch unit. Driving directions can be projected onto the optional head-up display that flips up from the dashboard and also shows the vehicle's speed and other information. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability are standard, with a wireless connection for such features available as an option. Key safety features include, standard automated emergency braking, standard lane departure warning, available adaptive cruise control.